Hi YouTube, my name is Ask Heather G and this is my official first video. Um, I wanted to first of all introduce myself and also I wanted to make a specific point about this video and that is by it being my first video it took me quite a bit to get to this point where I actually record it but I think my message here, or I know my message here, is that sometimes you just gotta get started. So for years, I've been wanting to like get on YouTube and I think I've made excuse after excuse. I don't have a camera. Oh, it's not a good day. I don't have lighting, blah, 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 blah. All that was pretty much excuses because once you get started, once you take the steps in the right direction, just take steps, period, those things will become apparent. They will reveal themselves to you. People will start helping you that you didn't even ask their help. You know, things will, doors will open for you if you just ask how. I mean, I'm sorry, not ask how. If you just ask, you don't have to worry about the how or the why. If you just ask and you just make that your intention and start making those strides towards what it, whatever your goal or vision or dream is, then the, the doors will open for you. So let me tell you a little bit about myself and my story and how I came to be on YouTube here today. Back in 2009, I started a blog called Ask Heather G, and it was basically created out of sheer boredom. I remember that I would go onto so many blogs, so many like fashion blogs, gossip blogs, all those uh, type of blogs, DIYs, I love DIYs. I, I didn't find a particular blog that gave me everything in one. You know, because life, Sometimes sometime you want to find that niche, but life is not all DIY. Life is not all gossip. Life is an array of things. And so I think I got bored a little bit of some of the blogs that I was reading because I couldn't get fulfilled in every aspect. And so I kind of just created my own. And so even me, when I first started out, I would say primarily I was focused on uh, relationship type stuff. I think that that was most of the questions that I was getting was relationship type questions. But as I have evolved over the years, I definitely have moved towards like personal growth, uh, enlightenment, expansion, uh, positivity, the universal laws, that type of thing. I still love all the other things, the DIYs, I do those all the time. Um, I still love talking about relationships. All these things are important and imperative to the life that we live, right? But uh, it doesn't explain how I got here. So anyway, I created my blog and I didn't really know what that was going to look like, but it probably started out as a hot mess. But over time it evolved and I got a good template. The, the page looks great now. I started um, getting paid for blogging and I didn't know how to do any of that when I began. But the point was is that I began. And if you have a vision, if you have a dream, if you have a uh, these wants in life, like just go after them. It doesn't have to make sense how you're gonna like finish it or even what comes next, just start now, just start where you are. And that's what I'm intending to do with this video. I don't know how it will grow for me, how it will expand for me, but I feel that if people can relate to me, if other women relate to what I'm saying, then I would love to have a forum where we can share, where we can bounce ideas off of one another and grow and expand and help each other start. So from me starting the blog, I then moved to Washington DC. I kind of got a little sidetracked with the blog. I was sporadic with it. Even to this day, I'm not very consistent with it, but I plan to change all of that with the introduction of my videos. Um, and I then moved back to my hometown in Virginia uh, because of a relationship that I was in. And I think that soon after being back in Virginia, I realized how much my particular city drained me. It can be a great city for some. I mean, my family, my entire family does very well there. They, they are very successful. And uh, my ex, his family does very well there. But it just wasn't for me. And I want people to understand that anything that I say is not to reflect negative on the things that I don't enjoy or that I don't do or partake in. But it's just to say it's not for me. So that town, is nothing wrong with it. It's where I'm from. I would never um, speak badly about it in that way because it obviously shaped who I am to some extent. But I had outgrown it by this point. 
and I wasn't happy there. And so my ex and I uh, mutually decided to part ways. And from every every move that I made from that point forward was uh, in anticipation of me, in, in intention of me moving to Los Angeles. So I would say probably about four and a half months after I made that decision, I was literally packing my car. Every inch of my car was packed. And I was making the move to Los Angeles. Once I got to Los Angeles, a lot of doors opened for me. So long story short, I was doubling for Kerry Washington on ABC Scandal. And that happened to be my favorite show. I knew everything about it. I knew how Kerry walked and talked. And so it was an honor to work with uh, Scandal for four months. And um, I doubled. I actually got to kiss the president. <laughs> it was fun. But as you know, she was pregnant at that time and I was basically her body. I was her double for any of the scenes that they needed shots of her body and, and things like that. So it was a great experience working with her. She's the sweetest. The whole cast and crew, everybody was amazing. And um, yeah, again, that was just me taking a step forward. Had I not moved to Los Angeles, had I not um, signed up for some of the companies that put you on a platform to be in front of uh, people like ABC Scandal. So had I never taken those steps and, and, and those strides, I would have never ended up on that show. And I think that's just another instance that shows that um, by thinking positive, by moving forward, by taking necessary steps, doors will open for you. While I was filming, while I was on set for Scandal, I would say probably about two months in, I got a call from a 347 number in New York. And I was like, gosh, who is this New York number that keeps calling me? I was filming, so I couldn't, you know, when we're on set, I can't just like pick up my phone, obviously. So I remember stepping outside in between takes and taking this call, and it was from InStyle Magazine. So I think I might've left that part of the story out. Uh, before I left Virginia, I started an online boutique and I was selling apparel, jewelry and accessories and um, I still have that online boutique it's called Bait 28 I'm actually wearing some of my jewels from there now but um, I strictly do uh, jewelry and accessories now but at the time I had clothing jewelry and accessories so I was getting a call from New York it was in style magazine and they told me that the editor wanted to feature some of my cuffs in their May issue of the magazine like what? I mean, again, it was just me taking the steps. Like, I guess the steps there was that I have a website. It's, I put it out there, and I'm just being positive. I'm in this, like, highly creative, expansive, enlightened air place because I'm around all these, like, actors and actresses who just, you know, are so free-spirited, open-minded. So I'm around that vibe every day. I'm in this beautiful city that I've always wanted to live in. I'm just in such a happy space that InStyle calls me, and this is, like, icing on the cake. And I just was like, oh, my gosh, like, this is how life is supposed to be. Anything you want and desire, you're supposed to have. And I actually remember... Uh, I had met a woman in Las Vegas maybe a year before this happened. Her name was uh, Lauren. And she had an online store and I was going through my phone. This is about a week before I got the call from InStyle. And I saw that she had a website. So I was like, oh, let me go to her website. I saved her number and website, I guess, when I had met her. And she had a press page. And I remember just saying like, oh, I want a press page. but. I didn't really like do anything to make that happen. I just simply said it and I didn't ask how it was going to happen or why it would happen. I just pretty much put out to the universe like that's what I would desire, that's what I would want. And a week later without me doing anything, here was my opportunity to have an uh, entry on my press page because I simply said that I wanted a press page. I had good energy. I was attracting all these things into my life. It was just me getting started. It was just me like taking that leap of faith, putting up a website, moving to the West Coast, doing all these things to put my life in alignment with the things that I said that I wanted. And again, that's all I can advise for you is to set your life up. If you know what you want, set yourself up for success. You don't have to know all the answers or how it's going to happen. You just simply have to start making the, the, the movements and the steps towards it. And those doors will open for you, I promise. 
I promise. So anyway, um, that was just a quick intro for me to say hello and for me to tell you to get started and I'm taking my own advice, I'm getting started on YouTube. So let's see how this thing grows and send me uh, some messages, comment below, subscribe, like. I can't wait to talk to you some more. All right, bye.